because NVIDIA is showcasing its new products and initiatives at its Fall Graphics Technology Conference. And our Yahoo Finance tech editor, Dan Howley, has been all over it. He joins us now with a very special guest. Dan? That's right, Alexis. We have Deepu Tala. He is the VP and GM of Embedded and Edge Computing at NVIDIA. Deepu, thank you so much for joining us. You know, I want to kind of kick things off talking about uh, the announcements that NVIDIA made at GTC, fall GTC 2021. Uh, obviously, it had the spring one. Uh, and, and kind of going over the, the big announcements as far as dealing with different types of AI assistance as well as robot training. So can you just give us a, a quick breakdown of those announcements uh, from your uh, side of things? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dan, for having me. So we are having an exciting uh, GTC uh, GPU technology conference going on right now. And we had some quite a few exciting announcements in the area of uh, robotics and edge computing. Uh, in the area of uh, robotics, you know, one of the challenges that we've been trying to solve for a long, long time is how can we accurately capture these robots in simulation? And, and you know, why simulation is very important, it's because that you know, robots operate in unstructured worlds and it's very difficult to train them in the real world. Imagine you're trying to work with a robot in a manufacturing setting and you have 500 pounds of metal arm and you're trying to collaborate with it. Surely you wouldn't want it to be in the real world unless it's been proven accurate and efficient in the virtual world. So we can use the power of simulation. So we've been building this platform called Omniverse for several years now. And one of the features of Omniverse is providing robot simulation environment. We call it Isaac Sim. And using this Omniverse platform, we're able to teach robots in the virtual world. And it's far cheaper, safer, and faster to do this in the virtual world. And using the power of Omniverse, we can train these robots to be highly accurate and real operating when you consider it in the, you know, deployed in a factory or in a manufacturing setting. So you're, you're taking these robots, you're putting them into this virtual world, training them, then taking that data that they come out with and just putting them into the real world robots and letting them kind of work as they would based on what they learned in that virtual world, essentially. That's right. So, so we build the what we call the robot brain, and that's a Jetson computer. And the Jetson computer basically plugs into a robot. It could be a manufacturing robot, or it could be a robot for agriculture, or it could be a logistics or warehouse or last mile delivery, or even smart city applications, medical applications. So all of these products essentially have a brain, and then the brain essentially is a Jetson computer. And then all the magical software that we've built and much of it is built in simulation for the exact reasons I mentioned, which is, you know, before you put it in the real world, you're probably going to simulate it a million times more in the virtual world. And once you're sure that it is intended to operate exactly in the way you thought it is, then you bring it into the real world and put that software onto the robot brain. I guess when you talk about uh, different types of AIs, we saw that NVIDIA announced uh, Maxine, or was discussing Maxine rather, uh, and the idea of AI assistance, you know, different kind of, I, I assume, uh, basically just computers that would do things like allow you to order food uh, or get food for you, you know, when you when you order it, take your order. H how would that work? I know, I know there's this idea of, you know, uh, an AI acting as a waiter. Will I eventually be able to just talk to an AI and get my spicy nugs from Wendy's? Yeah, absolutely. So, so using the power of the Omniverse platform, we've created this avatar environment. So, so imagine like, you know, you are in a restaurant and I'm your server, right? I'm able to see you, I'm able to see your, uh, you know, gestures and I'm able to see your pose. So I'm able to do full computer vision on you. I'm able to process your voice. I'm able to process, you know, and, and give you back an answer. I'm able to recommend you menu. And then lastly, you are also able to see me interacting with you. Now, human to human, it's very easy to do, but you, when you try to convert to a virtual agent, a virtual agent essentially has to do all of those things, right? And in real time. And it's a fairly complex endeavor. So there are probably you know, several tens of artificial intelligence algorithms and neural networks that are running at the same time. So we've been working on individual pieces of this technology for a long, long time. In computer vision, we call it NVIDIA Metropolis. For conversational AI, we have a framework called Reva. For recommendations, we have uh, NVIDIA Merlin, and then using Omniverse for both the animation and the 3D graphics, combining all of these technologies into one, running in real time, at the edge, 
meaning at the point of action, we have demonstrated this uh, at GTC, what one of the incarnations we call it Project Tokyo. Essentially, it's a talking kiosk. It could be in a restaurant setting. It could be in a hospital, like a hotel setting or an airport, uh, any of those. So that's basically what we're able to create, leveraging all of the software technologies that we've been building for several years at NVIDIA and bringing them into one environment. So when, when will we see them in, in the real world if, if they're not already out there? Yeah, so, so parts of the technology is already in the real world for computer vision and speech and so on. But combining all of these things, we, you know, we're going to make uh, these releases available toward the you know, part of next year. And that's why we call it Project Tokyo. And soon, you know, I, I would imagine that in the next year, you'll start to see all of these coming together in a single instantiation uh, into many different places.